Nearly three-quarters of a million people, including 6,000 news media, will come to Detroit over the next two weeks to see what the world's automakers have created for 2007 and beyond. Over 700 models from more than 60 manufacturers compete for attention in the million square feet of Detroit's Cobo Hall. Plenty of glitz and glamour will be on display, but there's a serious side to this year's show. The E-Flex that was just introduced by General Motors, although it's a hybrid, it's really an electric car because there's two power sources, the batteries and an internal combustion or alternative engine. It could be even fuel cell, but the drive to the wheels is all electric. In what could be seen as a role reversal, Toyota, known for popularizing hybrid vehicles, introduced its first full-size truck to Detroit. While General Motors, for years the leading builder of large SUVs and trucks, rolled out a high-mileage, technologically advanced small car. The Chevrolet Volt, a concept car, can be plugged into a standard 110-volt outlet and overnight charge its large lithium-ion battery, enough to run the Volt for 40 miles. But instead of leaving you stranded, when the battery is depleted, a one-liter three-cylinder turbocharged engine kicks in, not to run the car per se, but to recharge the electric battery as you drive. E-Flex is flexible because the electricity it uses to drive the vehicle can come from a wide range of fuel sources. It can come from a hydrogen fuel cell. It can be generated by running a small motor, running on ethanol or biodiesel or synthetic fuel. Or it can come from the power grid and be stored in a battery. We see it as a very advanced technology that I think in a very adept way addresses this issue of more flexibility in reliance on different sources of power and propulsion. And GM points out if your commute is less than 40 miles a day, you could conceivably never visit a gas station again. From Detroit, I'm Chris Hansen.